guys, and welcome to KV2 Siegfried Madness. And these next couple of games are going to feature the KV2 on Siegfried Line. Therefore, the term Siegfried Madness. If you have any insane KV2 games on Siegfried Line, feel free to send them in and name them KV2 Siegfried Line in the subject. So I'll be able to find them and spot them quickly. And um, over on Behemoth's Challenge, which is Sniper Elite, uh, we are also seeing a great game from him. And that game is the, um, the same game, actually. It gave me two on Secret Line. So, uh, but yeah, different players, different team composition, different uh, set up because Behemoth uh, he was stuck in his KV2 when he got his score and uh, he actually gets I think it's eight medals in total but not uh, medals and ribbons so one of the ribbons or three of the ribbons are Reaper, Sharpshooter and, Sharp and Master Gunner so you know um, but other than that five other medals Sniper I think it's Sniper Top Gun, stuff like that. But yeah, there's um, annotation in the uh, top of the screen right now. It has been there all the time while I've been sl uh, sleeping about <laughs> talking about Behemoth. And um, you can click that to go and see his game. And it'll also pop up at the end of the game. So if you missed it right there, you can just wait a little bit and it'll pop up again at the end of the game. Because there's a reason why at the end of the game just has me AFK because this game was actually played while I had to go somewhere I was really really late to catch a train but I got a very good matchmaker and I thought let's see how how this goes and um, it actually went very very well I don't have the end screen recorded or print screen because um, I don't know, I, I, I couldn't because I had to go, I really had to leave. So the end screen was, was not there when I got back. And um, you see me being very cautious here. I have an AP shell loaded, which is a little weird. But people tend to come here and, and sit by this corner. And a T29 comes out. If that had hit or gone just a little bit higher, it would have done full damage and hit him. So the AP shell was actually okay to have loaded there. A little premium shell instead. Don't really know why, because if he backs up or does something, I could have actually done no damage to him. But I hit him and actually do about the same amount of damage an AG shell would have done to his side right into the, the axle where the track is right now so that premium shell was actually wasted in my opinion but sometimes you you just forget what you load and and I actually forget that I have the premium shells loaded after I killed the T29 over here I um, I actually go on and kill a very small tank with a premium shell which I sh didn't need to because he comes out shows the side and I can just kill him like that but yeah T29 killed over there he was actually the biggest tank on the enemy team so there's no need to worry about him anymore and that's great and here you see them the VK 3001H right there using a premium gel on him such a waste such a waste and then Pantakambang Fia also is right there and again, premium shell, why, why, HE shell would have killed him, especially now where he's taken some damage. But that's that, that's the cost, you, you pay credits to get more XP, and with the tank already fully upgraded, what's the point in getting more XP for credits? Uh, yeah, stupid, 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 stupid. And I actually blow his ammo rack up. And then, the I think that's the AMX hits me and he's gonna hit me again because nope I don't back off and we see a M6 and a full HP ARL 44 coming my way and that's actually scaring me a little bit so but I do have the uh, an HE shell loaded 
and as a French tank, don't show your side ever to a KV2 derp gun. As you saw there, full damage. Okay, he had lost 4 HP, so it was only 816 with an AG shell. But still, tons of pain right in his face. You see a Panzerkampfwagen 3 4. Can't really take the shot because I thought that I would be able to hit, or I thought I would hit our um, ally right there if he had. If I had fired without aiming even more. KV1S shows up and I'm just sitting there. Oh, can I hit him? Can I hit him? Nope. And then a Churchill 1 turns up, hits me in the tracks, and then retreats very wisely. I see the KV1S is just rushing through, so I aim a little bit forward and get him right there. He was going to uh, to flank me and then hurt me in the back. Luckily, I got him right there. Then the Panzerkampfwagen Fia is just sitting there. Panzerkampfwagen Fia, that's the Jagdpanzer. Jagdpanzer Fia, sitting right there. You can see him turning, and I find him with a crosshair or, or see him. He's turning, and I get him in the back. Always play, play. Always pay close attention to what your enemy is doing because if he knew that I was just looking for him to to show. As you can see here, I'm writing, "Please win, got to go," and that was before the Churchill one showed up. So I'm thinking, "Oh sh, I really have to take this dude out or just do some damage to him because we only have small tanks left." And the HE shell penetration was enough to kill him. And I've done that so many times to Churchill ones. Just go out in the front, shoot him right in the front and it, it'll penetrate every single time in my opinion. Here I speed it up because the game is won and I do nothing apart from just waiting until I'm not waiting, I'm just sitting there until the game ends and we win by the Amex and Grill gets killed right there Boop. and that was the first KV2 Secret Madness video Thank you.